Hi, so today I'm going to teach you about what is the difference between a sagging breast surgery and a normal breast surgery. A woman may have a sagging breast and they may want it to be lifted and augmented at the same time. Another woman may have a normal breast and who would need just an augmentation. So let me explain you by drawing on a board. Now, a lot of women have a breast like this. They may have it either because of weight loss journey they might have maybe because after pregnancy their breasts have deflated and they've gone down this may keep going down if you add volume to it a lot of females have this meant that they are deflated in the upper pole and they want an implant to be put but understand anything which is sagging if you put more weight to it it will sag more so what they need is basically a breast of this shape so they need a breast which is lifted up and a reasonable volume so this needs a lift surgery if along with this lift they go on an increase in volume such as this this can be done by adding a volume so this is a sagging breast this is after a mastopexy surgery or a breast lift surgery and this is breast lift plus augmentation this augmentation can be either by implant or fat yes we can take out the fat from their body maybe abdomen, back, thighs, wherever they have excess fat and that fat can also be used to augment the breasts so if you have a sagging breast you need a breast lift surgery a breast lift surgery with an increase in size is called as a mastopexy augmentation so depending upon what a woman needs, we can decide what they want and decide the surgery. This surgery has some scars and let's talk about the recovery and the scars now. So we are talking about the scars involved to lift a sagging breast or scars which we give to do a mastopexy surgery. Now, if you see the breast from the front this is the scar a woman gets in a breast lift surgery now these scars around the areola is not much visible because it is at the junction of a dark skin and a light skin understand the areola is always darker so it's at the junction of a dark skin and light skin. Then I give a short vertical scar. This is a vertical scar, or also called as a lollipop scar technique. This scar also fades nicely over the next seven to eight months. But I tell my patients it's not going to vanish. Only they and their partners will be knowing about the scar. But all of these patients of our mastopexy surgery go into our scar management protocols after the surgery. This involves certain creams, ointments, and maybe lasers, which they all go for so that the scar fades nicely. Technically, the scar is never a concern for our breast tagging patients because you can't have a lift unless you go for some scars. This was my attempt to explain you what a breast sagging surgery entails. 
they can go for a reduction in size at the same time or maintenance of the same size of the breast or they can also go for an increase in size as we learned by going for either an implant or fat transfer at the same time. But a sagging breast always needs a breast lift, don't forget that. And these are the scars you're going to get. This video will end up with showing you a lot of our pictures and videos of our patients and you can see what their scars look like after some time. Scars are usually never a concern for our patients because they get a new shape, a much better rest check breast on their chest and they are really really happy. One of the most satisfying procedures for our patients in our practice. If you have a sagging breast, don't hesitate to ask us questions. You can write us, you can DM us, you can write below this video and me and my team will be there to help you. Signing out now, bye bye.